what's going on you guys this is madam and i'm coming back to you again this time we're going to go over to black enterprise and this is the article was done by black enterprise editors it says gladys knight's son uh shunga hankerson sentenced to prison must pay one million dollars for chicken and waffle restaurant taxes uh as always i do apologize if i mispronounce anyone's name in any article that i do all right after years of dragging his legendary mom's name through the mud over shady business practices uh shunga hankerson the son of soul singer gladys knight is heading to federal prison hankerson the former owner of gladys knight's chicken and waffle restaurant in atlanta was sentenced to prison over tax issues at the once famed restaurant because he failed to remit payroll taxes according to the u.s attorney's office on friday fox 5 reports hankerson willingly disregarded his tax obligations for many years acting u.s attorney kirk x klein said in an email statement to the AGC payroll tax fund social insurance programs, including Social Security, Medicare, and are a large source of revenue for the tax the federal government. Employees who failed to comply with their legal obligations were held accountable. According to the report, 45-year-old Hankerson will serve two years in prison one year supervised release and he will also have to pay back restitution of one million thirty nine three ten sixty five for failing to remit taxes from 2012 to 2016. back on july 21st hankerson pled guilty to the agc reports Although Hankerson used his famous mother's name and likeness to promote the, vis the business, according to information presented in court, he was the sole business owner of the, establish of the establishment that he started in 1997. He ultimately opened locations in northern Georgia and Washington, D.C. While ownership of a well-known restaurant in our community has its perks, it also comes with great responsibility, said IRS criminal investigator special agent in charge, James E. Dorsey, in a statement. Paying taxes is a way to give back to the community, but unfortunately, Hankinson chose to use those funds for other means. The sentencing empathizes emphasizes excuse me that all employees big or in small have equal responsibility to collect report and pay over their payroll taxes back in 2016 hankerson was arrested and the georgia department of revenue shut down three of the of his chicken and waffle restaurants according to the ag ajc excuse me employees of the restaurant said that Hankerson spent money from his businesses on uh, adult parties and marijuana. The chicken and waffle businesses have been a point of contention and concern for Gladys Knight, who ultimately had to sue her son to remove her name and likeness from the business, from his businesses. Okay, and this is just a short story. Um, a uh, very tragic, sad, um, first and foremost, Gladys Knight, uh, legendary, uh, singer who's made countless of hit records, uh, toward the world, most notably known, um, for her, uh, group at the time, which was Gladys, Knight's and, Gladys Knight and the Peps. Um, for her son to use her name to defame her character um, is beyond me, but I mean, everybody has their own choices, you know, um, it's just really sad and tragic that um, she had to sue her own son, which I'm pretty sure, um, and assuming that it was not an easy task for her, 
um, being that that is a family member, also her son. So um, I'm glad that she was not brought up on anything, even though he, it was his sole business and it did bear her name. Um, and basically, he still got a slap on the wrist, to be honest with you. Um, you know, uh, uh, whatever the case is. But as always, I would definitely like you guys to come down in the comments. Let me know how you feel about this. Uh, tell me your favorite Gladys Knight song. Uh, mine's is Midnight, to Ge Midnight Train to Georgia. Um, one of my favorite songs of her. And also, uh, Neither One of Us Wants to Say Goodbye. Classic hits that uh, still to this day holds very much weight in the music community and in other people's lives um you know back when music was feel good music you know um real music to be more uh honest and frank with you but nevertheless as always you guys i will catch up with you in the next video take care